we are going to make a treasure map today. First you're going to have your paper. Make sure your name is on the paper. And you're going to have crayons and oil pastels to choose from. I chose a paper that is kind of tan in color because that makes it look a little bit old. First we're going to draw the island that you want to have your treasure on. So I'm going to make a large island. It can be something curvy or bumpy. It can be any shape you like. Kind of just a fun shape. So this is my island shape. Outside here is going to be the water and the middle will be the island. So for my water I want to show people that I have water. I will make a wavy line all over the outside. You don't want to color the whole thing blue because that really doesn't look like a treasure map. Treasure maps have kind of a wavy line so that everyone knows it's water. These are waves all over all over my map. I'm going to leave one space because I think I'm going to have a boat out here. So I'm going to draw a boat. If you'd like to draw with pencil first, you could start with pencil and draw a curve line with kind of a top. Make sure it has a flag a mass pole and it has a sail. That could be a nice way to show a boat outside of your island. It might be your boat coming to find the treasure. I'm going to choose a white for my sail. Now I have a lot of my outside part decorated. The last thing I'm going to do on the outside is just make a compass. And compasses are always found on a map to show north, south, east, and west. You can put your compass in any color. I think I'm just going to use blue for fun. North is on top. An N. South. West. And East. Sorry, my W looks a little like a wave. So you can see I have a compass. Now I get to really have fun deciding where my treasure will go and what I might have on my island. I think I'm going to have some large mountains. Maybe over here. Maybe this is the tallest part of the, mount, the island. If I make just this arrow part, it shows everybody that these are mountains. A whole bunch of them. Okay. Maybe I want to have a forest. I could use some brown and green to make trees. This could be a lush forest over here. Could even be like a rainforest or evergreen forest. Just making something that looks a little bit like a tree. It doesn't really look exactly like a tree because this is just a map. And I'm going to put some stems on my trees. There's a forest. You could even have maybe a beach. I'm going to put a beach right next to where the boat is going to dock. So this could be my nice sandy beach. Nice yellow. Sometimes on an island there's some danger and I'm going to have some native people that might attack. So I'm going to make some huts where the native people would live. This is a little village of native people. All right, I have a few things on my map. I could keep adding more or different ones all over. It's your choice. But I think I'm ready to start to draw my 
treasure spot. So I'm going to make a nice big red X where the treasure is. And I'm going to draw a path to get there. So you come off the beach and you're going to go around the big mountains. And you're going to get right to the treasure. Hmm. Let's think of some other things that could go on a map. If you have some ideas, you can raise your hand and tell me. I hope you have fun making your treasure map. When you're all finished, we're going to make them look old. By taking our nice work and you can choose to roll it and keep a rolled treasure map. Or if you want to make it look really old, we'll crinkle it up. And then when you open it carefully that you don't rip it, really open it carefully. And now it looks like a really old, special map. Thanks.